Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be doing a little memory keeping in my big happy planner. This planner I use for social media memory keeping. It's just something fun I do to keep, um, to just record all of the posts that I've done on Instagram and I, I really enjoy these a lot. These are actually my, fa my sister's favorite videos. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get back into this because I'm so behind, but I'm going to, from now on, try to keep the content for this um, more recent because I was back planning like from last year and yeah, I just need to catch up. <laughs> so um, this week I'm going to do October 28th. Oh no, sorry. September 28th to October 4th. So it was a few weeks ago, so it'll be more fresh in my mind and... It's just, it'll just be easier to do it this way, I think, for me. All right, so I do have quite a bit of posts for that week. I have my little, I got questions about this. I have a few of these little sticker, sticker books, like sticker albums. They're from Simply Gilded, and I just love all of her sticker albums. Yeah, I have quite a few. I actually have two more coming from a pre-sale which I'm very excited about because one of them is a larger size. I only have like the small sizes. And then I plan on ordering another one because I'm just obsessed with these little sticker books. Um, I use them to keep my pictures organized. So that's what I like to use them for. And also you can put stickers. You can put like, um, I think my friend Sarah who she bought one of these. She was saying something about putting her die cuts. I don't have any of those, but I think that's a great idea because those are like all loose. You can, there's lots of ways to use these. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned where I got this from because I did get questions about these little sticker album books. So I already have my pictures in here. All of these are the pictures I'm going to be using. I actually took quite a bit this week, mainly because this week was the release of the Disney Mickey and Minnie items. So I definitely took a lot of pictures for that. So I'm actually going to put these... Oh no, you know what? I'm going to take the pages off first. Okay, and yeah, I put the dates on the back. I normally get these printed at Walmart, but they didn't have my prints ready. So I ended up printing them on my computer and I'm trying to see, or like through my, just my regular printer. So I'm trying to see if this option works. We'll see. I do like the pictures better, but you know, I don't know. Maybe this will be better too. It'll save me a trip to Walmart, which would be nice. Okay. So yeah, lots of pictures for this week, which I actually really like when it's full like that. I mean, I won't be able to add as many stickers as I wanted to, but that's okay. Oh, actually, the sticker books. I'm definitely going to be using the new Disney sticker book since this was the release toward, I think it was Sunday, yeah, Sunday, was the day that uh, we were able to buy the Mickey and Minnie stuff in stores and online. It's very exciting. I definitely placed an order for stuff then. Um, thankfully, I mean, I'm on the squad this year for the Happy Planner, so they sent me a bunch of stuff too, but even then I still bought a bunch of stuff on my own because I just love that collection so much and I didn't want to wait to find it in stores because I still can't find it at my Joann's. So I'm glad I ordered it online on thehappyplanner.com. <laughs> I think some items are still available, but the sticker books are not, some of them are out of stock. Yeah, I'm going to use these sticker books because I want to make it very Mickey and Minnie. And then, since, like I said, I'm on the squad, I received the items that I got, I received them in a box. And it came with, like, this tissue paper. And I'm thinking of adding this in somehow. Mainly because, like, this is green or, like, leaves. It's very... This is a seasonal planner, so it's very fallish in this week, in this month's spreads. So I want to cover up some of it. I'm just going to leave that as it is. I mean, it's not too horrible. But yeah, I'm going to probably put some tissue paper. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. I have no idea. I have quite a bit of it, though, so I can kind of play around with it. All right, so I'm going to take these off so I can figure out how I'm going to do this tissue okay, paper. Okay, so I think I'm going to... I just cut a piece of the tissue paper. I'm thinking of just putting it on the bottom right here. But actually not covering up that part. Because I do want to use that sidebar. So, I think I just want to put it on the bottom though. And then I think I need to cover up these uh, leaves. 
because they're definitely going to show through the, the um, tissue paper. Let me see how this looks before I continue on. Yeah, I don't mind seeing the lines through the tissue paper. I plan on layering stickers over this anyways. I just don't want to see the leaves. So I'm just going to go over all of these, like leaves and flowers. So that way I don't see them through the tissue paper. Okay, so I covered it up. It's not like the cleanest, nicest job, but it should be fine. Once I, I think once I put it, um, the tissue paper over it, it won't be as noticeable. Alright, so I'm definitely going to go up to probably this line right here with this polka dot because it's really cute. So I think I'm just going to put glue down. I'm just going to do it, oh no, I want to go all the way down. Yeah, because I did white out all on those florals and leaves. I'm going to try to do this corner over here, so that way I don't have to cut this edge. I feel like that might be the easiest way. And then I'm just going to use the lines to make sure I'm straight. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut this off. And then I'll just have to cut the holes out. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that with a punch. I'm going to do it with my scissors. So I'll do that later. And then like this part right here, it's lifting. So I'm just going to put some more glue down. Okay. I know it looks odd right now, but I'm, I'm going to cover up this girl. I'm probably going to put a Mickey over here. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better once everything else is down on the page. That's the hope. But yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing on that side. Alright, so tissue paper is down. I will, I'm not going to worry about like the edges yet. Because I, like I said, I'm planning on putting like stickers down on it. So that'll help to, you know, keep it down. That's what I'm hoping. But I do want to add in some stickers. Because, yes, they're super cute. Oh, I actually really like this one. Maybe I'll put this one because I'm I'm wearing the little, my Mickey ears or my mini ears, so I could put this here. And this one goes on this day, on Sunday. I actually think that would be really cute right here. Okay, so I'm gonna lay down a sticker. I feel like okay, I definitely cannot try to move these stickers once I put them down on these on this tissue paper <laughs> so yeah I think I'm gonna put it there okay get some of my Tombow adhesive and tape this down right here and then I can use that box to journal Cute, cute. Okay, I already love it. Super, super cute. Okay, this one goes on the second. I just need to figure out spacing though for this side since there's so many things. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this off a little bit. Oops. Because I like to include, like I just take a screenshot of my Instagram page or like my photos because I do like to have a little bit of like the likes and it has like a little bit of the description that I wrote. I do like to include that but for spacing reasons I'm gonna cut this off so I can kind of layer these two on that day because I like to keep them near the day that I posted them. I'm gonna cut this one too just so I have another one that's cut off. 
and then I still want to have like room for writing which I do have a little bit of room that side's going to be super packed with stuff but I do like how it is I think I like how it's spaced out I don't write too much on here so I think this is enough space I'm going to tape all of this down where it is and then um, work on the other side. I need to put down, bef before I put this one down, I already have tape on it, I'm going to put a box down because I think I want to put maybe the red to get some red up here. I'll do this one. Okay, so I was going to put this one here and then I can put this, wait, how was I going to do this? I forgot how I spaced this out. Um, I'm going to put Mickey here. And I think I'm going to cut this off. So it'll give me more room for writing. This one goes on the third. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, I really like how that looks. Yeah, that's super cute. I'm going to try to find a Mickey or something to put right here. I can't remember if there's any that are paper, though. I think they're all clear. Yeah, these are all clear. Maybe I can use one of these. One. this okay I really like how that looks I'm gonna move on to this side now since that side is like covered in stickers I still need to write in it and but I really like how that turned out it's good so I have that one 28th 29th and 30th I have a little bit more room to play around with stickers on this side and then I still need to cover that up which I have this quote that I think I might add oh yeah it covers it up perfectly okay cute like that and then I can still use this for putting down the comments that I like, which I'm actually going to put some, I'm going to cover up that notes. That way I can write in like favorite comments. I think in here there's some stickers I can use. Um, actually, I kind of want one with Mickey. Let's see. All right, so there's these. I really like but I think they might be too skinny okay I will just have to white out this a little bit now I can put this here and then I can put like comments like favorite comments yeah Okay, cute, love that. All right, so next, I'm gonna just do the same. I'm gonna get some boxes, maybe you do like a decorative type box, since I have more room over here on this side. I definitely want like a mini box, since I featured like mini in that picture. Oh my gosh, where's the boxes? Ah, oh, here you go. Cute, like that one. That one's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one for that box. Okay. So right here, I think. And now I can write about that one here. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna put some tape on this. Cute. 
And then I'm just going to tape these down. Okay. I might put like a Mickey over here. So I'm going to get like a Mickey sticker. I think. Okay, I was going to put this here. I didn't put it down all the way, so hopefully I'll be able to lift it up. Even though... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Maybe... Here. Just so it pops a little bit better. I'm going to put a box down here. Actually, yeah, because I want to put some kind of box. Over here or over here. Like, over here. Okay. Let me get a box. Actually, maybe in here. I'm actually going to cut these two. I'm going to cut the bottoms off of these just to give me more room so I feel like I'm running even though I have more room on this side I feel like I'm running out of room to do it the way I wanted to okay so I could write about this here like that and maybe I want to add a Mickey and Minnie oh my gosh so crooked so this tissue paper is not like super cheapy thankfully because it doesn't rip I've noticed that when I use it because I, I like to use the tissue paper in like different ways to you know, whether that's like making a cover or like putting it on a, decoupaging it onto a trash can. Like, it seems pretty, not, not a, um, delicate tissue paper. Okay, so I'm just going to tape these down. So now I can go and write in what I want so that way I can see whatever space I like this to be full so I will go in and sticker this up once I'm done writing in it so I'm gonna journal and then I will be back okay so I wrote down everything that I wanted to include on this spread I got all my comments I had to go into another sticker book because honestly like my one complaint about the, the sticker books is there aren't any there's not a lot of bullet points. They do have some bullet points, but I really think that a Mickey head bullet point would have been the cutest thing ever. Like something like that, probably a little bit bigger, would have been the most adorable thing ever to have in these books. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't like the last we see of like some kind of Mickey stuff because that would be so cute. But yeah, I had to pull out the wellness sticker book just to get some black asterisks to do my comments on the side and now I can go ahead and fill in the empty spots which I want to do with some washi so I have this polka dot washi that I'm going to add just to fill in some of these little areas that are empty Covering up that um, that scallop. I don't know. I kind of don't like that it's green. The yellow I don't mind. It's just like the green is a little bit too much for me. I feel. 
Is that in the same spot? I can't even tell. Kind of. Okay. So I was thinking of putting this over here. Actually, yeah. I'm just going to cover it up. I'm not going to... Should I white it out? I'm just going to do it like that because it doesn't look as green with the washi over it. So I feel like that helps to take away from the green. Looks a little bit more black. That way I don't have to light it all out because I really don't want to do that. Cute. Okay. I like that. And now I'm just going to go in and fill it in with more stickers because I have some empty spots. So I can do that. Probably gonna be more decorative type stickers though. Like some of these are really cute. I'm gonna put this celebrate up here. I like this one. I'm going to put this here. I really want a circle sticker, but I don't want it red. I want it like a different color. Maybe I'll add some like little Mickeys onto the page too. Mickeys and Minis. And a few spots. I really don't have very much space though. Maybe some little mini ones? That'd be cute. I could do one right here. I feel like I need something over here. I'm just going to put this right there. Cute. I think I mentioned this before. I like my spreads when it comes to this stuff to be really full looking. So that's why I go a little bit overboard with the stickers and just put them wherever I feel like. It's a lot of fun actually doing it this way. I'm gonna add some Mickey heads too. Oh, I got some bows, those are cute. Okay, I guess I only have like these kind. So cute. Okay, I think that's it. I have a good amount of stuff on the page. It looks really, really cute. Maybe I can add one more over here. I know I said I was done, but... Mm. 
I got a lot of like hoorays, but that's okay because it was a good day. It was a fun day finding or getting all the stuff or ordering the stuff for me. And I know people found stuff, so that was good. Okay, I think that's it though. Super cute. I love it. All right, so I cut out the holes so that way I could put this back in my planner. I didn't want to chance it with the punch because I felt like that might have been a bad idea. And I didn't want to chance ripping the paper. Uh, but yeah, I repunched them just with the, or cut them with my, my scissors. And I love how this turned out. It is so cute. I mean, honestly, anything Mickey Mini is going to be adorable. But yeah, that is my memory keeping spread for the week. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.